Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shrutika, AIR2027 in 2023 NEET PG. In this video, we will talk about every possible aspect to crack next for first year to final year. We will discuss a proper planner for the final year to complete the syllabus for upcoming next. Let's talk about final year and then we will go in a retrograde manner. So 2019 batch, Dil pe patha rakte hue, be prepared for the ups and downs you're gonna face in the coming months. You don't have time to just sit back and cry over what's all happening. A single wastage of moment will cost you your license. So let's assume that the exam will be on January 2024. So I am planning first trading from 1st July to 22nd October. First revision from 23rd October to 30th November and second revision in the month of December. In that way, you can complete three readings before your exam. I have made this plan by keeping in mind that your college hours posting will occupy maximum time of your day. So try to finish 8 to 10 lectures per day, obviously in 1.5x or above speed in the night hours and solve the question banks in your college time. Now I just can't tell you to do the revision notes but you have to follow main videos and highlight the important points on the main notes for further revision. What I mean to say that for ENT, first do the main videos completely side by side, highlight on the main notes that important and key points. Jab aap next revision karoge, so only that highlight points you have to study. Your concepts are clear, you don't have to go through the whole notes again. Next revision, mein bas aapko highlight points si padna hoga. All the concepts you already know. On the last day of every subject, you have to do the previous year topics, previous year questions, and the subject wise test you have to give on the last day. Same applied for the orthopedics. In the three days of orthopedics, main video complete karo, highlight karo main notes pe. And in college time, you have to complete the question banks of ENT. So, in 6 July to 8 July, you can complete the orthopedic main videos plus previous year questions plus subject wise test of orthopedics and question bank of ENT. So, your ENT also revised with that orthopedics also finished. I have given 10 days for OBGY. In those 10 days, you have to finish main videos of Ops and Gynae, previous year questions. Plus, on the last day, you have to give the subject-wise test and orthopedic Q-banks also you have to practice with ops kind of main videos. So, with every current subject, you have to see the main videos. Uske saath, aapko previous subjects ka question bank karna hoga. So, side by side of the revision bhi continue rahega. Similarly, finish radio in 3 days, pediatrics 4 days, derma 3 days, medicine 10 days, ophthal 5 days, surgery again 10 days and anesthesia 3 days. I have kept the 28th of the July which is the date of mock test. I kept it as a buffer day. I kept one day after every subject as a buffer day. What you gonna do in buffer day is you have to finish more and must know topics. At least 5 videos in that buffer day plus the backlogs of every subject you have to finish. We have 65 must 22 must know topics. So, in the 19 buffer days, you can finish 5 to 7 videos easily and complete whole MAR and MKT with the finishing of subjects. Midnight Express and Must Know Topics are gold standard for INICT. So, is the body of conducting exam is same for next and INICT. So, you have to have to do MAR and MKT and finish that and revise thoroughly each and every topic ma'am has taught. So, this way finish all the clinical subjects which consists of major chunk of your paper. After that, all the first and second year subject, do it from first aid in rapid revision of the of ma'am. Because there is no point to waste your time on unnecessary information. You have to be crisp and concise for those 10% of your paper that are from these subjects. And first aid is gold standard for this. But if you want to follow narrow revision notes, you can do it with the narrow pulse as well. So summary is, main videos, previous year question, subject wise test and previous year topic question banks for the clinical subjects, first aid, rapid revision and previous year question 
for the non clinical subject and para clinical subject this way you can finish the whole syllabus in just 114 days now about gts for final years in my opinion giving subject wise tests making more sense to me than gts the question will be definitely on the lengthier side so you have to choose your question bank wisely currently i saw a video of nikita ma'am about prep ladder question bank which they going to make for next pattern i found it useful because it's somehow similar like usmle or u wall questions if narrow also come with the same pattern then no doubt go for it one thing i remember 2020 neat pg was i can say a hell of lengthier paper as my seniors described and after that there has been an uncertainty in every aspirants about the type of questions in neat pg so when i started my preparation i had that constant fear of getting long stem clinical questions what i did to get out of that fear zone was i solved 20 questions per day of usmle pattern or you can say the u wall type the pdf i found on telegram every morning i started my day with those 20 questions i regularly solved that to get used to with the lengthy question i suggest you the same as the next is nearly similar kind of exam like usmle so you solve 20 questions per day in every morning to hold a better grip on the clinical questions now move to third year do ofthal ent psm thoroughly from the main videos and solve clinical questions start reading first aid do preclinical and paraclinical subjects from the first aid and rapid revision with previous year questions and marrow polls as you be the second batch for next you already have the knowledge on pre and para clinical subject so start watching main videos of final year subjects and solving questions from now onwards for second year for microbiology and pathology follow priti sharma ma'am for pharma follow maro main videos plus previous year question and nikita ma'am's mnemonic for the better memorization in addition to that start first aid it's the best time to start studying medicine and surgery at least do these two subjects from the main videos pay more attention to word postings try to correlate the clinical and non clinical facts attend clinics with an urge to learn most of the cases then and there because those will be represented to you as a mcq in your exam any word postings you are going try to finish the main videos of that subject in those limited time for the first years take your time start from the standard books like bdc canon and watch the main videos from any platform do not just jump to start studying final year subjects no a big no focus on the first year subjects in a depth and read first aid clear your concepts and make your best strong lastly for neat pg 2024 that can be happened in between january to march i have already shared this pdf in my videos those who doesn't started it yet they can follow this from today onwards do revision notes thoroughly because you know the neat pg pattern already and follow my subject wise sources i will give the links in the description and join my telegram channel in the description for neat pg and next resources all the very best